Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Physiosaurus. In today's video I am going to talk about the angles of hip complex. See it, there are four angles in the ang angle of hip complex. Okay. So the first one is angle of inclination. Second one is angle of torsion. Third one is angle of Viberg. And the fourth and the last one is acetabular antiversion angle. Okay, so the angle of inclination and angle of torsion, we will study it under the angle of femur. Okay, angle of femur. And these two comes under the angle of acetabulum. Okay, angle of acetabulum. So first we will deal with the angle of femur and then we will deal with the angle of acetabulum. So now let's understand what is angle of inclination, what is angle of torsion. So now here we are talking about the angle of torsion. The normal value of the angle of torsion is 15 to 20 degree. Okay. Now angle of torsion is basically the angle between the two axes, longitudinal axis of neck of femur and the transverse axis of femoral condyle. So here this line which you are seeing right now is the transverse axis of femoral condyle and this line here this line here is the longitudinal axis of neck of femur so the angle between these two lines is known as angle of torsion okay so now we will talk about the angle of inclination okay watch this diagram very closely the angle of inclination is the angle between two axes longitudinal axis of neck of femur now here this line here is the longitudinal axis of neck of femur now the second line is the longitudinal axis of shaft of femur so this is the longitudinal axis of shaft of femur so the angle made between these two lines is known as angle of inclination okay and the normal value for the angle of inclination is 125 degrees. Now let's talk about the angle of antiversion, okay, which comes under the angle of acetabulum. So here, if you will see this two diagram, the left side, I have written center edge angle. Okay, the center edge angle is also known as angle of Weber. And in the right side, I have written acetabular antiversion angle. First, we will talk about the center edge angle. So, center edge angle basically denotes the area covered by the acetabulum over femoral head. So, that means more the angle, so more the area will be covered by the acetabulum. So, uh, you can also say that center edge angle, the more uh, center edge angle, the more stability will be. Okay, And there will be very less chance of displacement of the femoral head. Now the angle center edge angle, the angle is formed in the frontal plane. Okay. And here watch this diagram very closely. Center edge angle, this angle is formed by the two lines which originate at the center of the femoral head. So watch these two lines. Okay. This line and this line. They both line originates from the femoral head. Okay. Now one line extends vertically forming the reference whereas the other line extends to the lateral aspect of acetabulum. So one line, this line here extends vertically while the other line extends to the lateral aspect of acetabulum and the angle between these two lines is known as angle of Weberg. Okay. See the normal value of the of the angle of Weberg should be at least 25 degree. More than 25 degree is considered normal or equal to 25 degree is considered normal. Okay. So the normal value for the angle of Weberg should be at least 25 degree. Now here the angle of Weberg, it denotes the inferior orientation of acetabulum. Okay. Now we'll talk about the acetabular antiversion angle. See acetabular antiversion angle, it is the angle in the 
transverse plane okay so center edge angle was the angle in frontal plane while this angle is formed in the transverse plane and one more differences between center edge angle and acetabular antiversion angle is it denotes the anterior orientation of the acetabulum now let's talk about how the angle are made okay so this is the angle formed by the reference line that is parallel to the sagittal plane and drawn from the posterior acetabulum okay so drawn from the posterior acetabulum this one is the posterior acetabulum okay and the other line is drawn from the posterior to the anterior acetabulum see this one is the posterior and acetabulum and this one is the anterior acetabulum so one line is drawn like this from posterior to anterior okay and the other line is drawn parallel to the sagittal plane from the posterior and acetabulum so this is the sagittal plane and this line is drawn parallel to the sagittal plane okay so the angle between these two line is known as acetabular antiversion angle and the normal acetabular antiversion angle should be 15 to at least 20 degrees so this was all about the angle of femur and the angle of acetabulum so i'll upload the next video on hip complex the uh, talking about the kinematics of the hip complex so thank you so much for watching this video